Remember those vowel parts of a word. It's those parts that are emphasized when we sing. Our mouth opens with the vowel sound. So it also tells us our syllables. So when you hear a vowel sound, you also have a syllable. When you make these short vowel sounds, your mouth opens. So that's what I mean by you're singing that. So it's like opening like you're singing. Let's make our sounds. A. Ah, e. Eh, e. Eh, Ah, uh. If you saw this spelling in a word, what would you say? What would the sound be for this? Oi. Good. That's one of those first grade skills that you learned. O and I work together as a team. They're a diagraph or a letter team. And when you see O and I together, you make the oi sound. Oil. Foil, soil, spoiled, oink, boil, top soil, coin. The O and the I together make the oi sound. Make that oi sound. Oi. The word is oil. Now, if you saw the O and Y together, what would you say? What sound do you think this makes? This also makes the OI sound. These two letters work together as a team. They're a diagraph or letter team. They sound exactly like that OI. They say OI. Make the OI sound. Now, let's read these words. Toy, soy, boy, roy, joy, enjoy, employed, cowboy, soybean, now remember the O-Y. When you see the O-Y in a word, what sound does it make? Oi, like in the word toy. So O-I and O-Y, both are teams of vowel sounds that make the oi sound together. Now we're going to change some of our oi and our ow words that we have learned. So remember, when you chain words, you can use a dry erase board and you can change them as we go, or you can write them going straight down on a sheet of paper. So we're going to change like one sound to the word to make a new word. So you don't have to erase every time. If you have a dry erase marker, you can erase that one sound, but you don't have to erase the whole word. Now, if you're writing them on paper, you'll just list each word as it changes. With the oi sound, Write the word oil, oil. Write your sounds, oi, oo. Check your work, oil. Change oil to boil, boil. Good, so we only changed one letter. We just added that B. To the front of oil to make it boil. So if you're writing it on paper, don't completely rewrite it. Or don't don't erase what you wrote the first time. Just write it underneath. Boil. Change boil to coil. Coil. Go ahead. Change coil to coin. Coin. K oi. Mm. So you're only changing that last letter. Good. Coin. Change coin to join. Join. Change that first sound. Good. Change join to joint. 
joint. Good job. Change joint to point. Point. All thumb. Just change that j to p. Now we're going to look at some ow words. Some of our ow words. So that o u or o o w, but we're going to be looking at o u. Write the word it. Now you notice it doesn't have an ow in it yet, but we're going to change it to an ow. So write the word it. It. Good. Now change it to out. Out. Awesome. Change out to pout. So put that beginning p on the word out and make it pout. Good. Change pout to bout. Bout. So change your beginning sound. Good. Change bout to boot. So change your middle sound. Boot. Great job. Change boot to root, root. Awesome. Change root to room, room. Let's change that end sound. Super. Change room to groom, groom. So you're going to change that beginning sound from r to grr. Great job. Change groom to grim. So change your middle sound from oo to i. Grim. Great job. And last one. Change grim to grime. Now we're going to go from a short vowel I to a long vowel I. So what do we need to add to the end of our word? Our magic E. Awesome job. The word is grime. Today you are going to read a story titled The Hare and the Hedgehog. You are going to be fluent when you read this story, so you should be able to read the story. Note this sounds in the words. Sound the words out accurately, quickly, and read the word like a fluent second grader. So I want you to find the story titled The Hare and the Hedgehog in your packet now. Now, there are two characters in this story, the hedgehog and the hare. A hedgehog is a small mammal with spines or spikes all over their bodies. Hedgehogs have short legs and will roll into a tight ball if they feel they are in danger. So this is the hedgehog. This will help you comprehend the story a little better. This is a hare. Hares are also called jackrabbits. They are bigger than rabbits, however, and build their homes above ground. Hares are very fast. This is a trickster tale. In a trickster tale, one character usually is clever and tricks another character. So there will be a lesson learned. This story involves a race between the hedgehog, an animal with short legs, and the hare. 
a very fast animal with long legs. Now you've probably heard the story, the tortoise and the hare. So use that and make a prediction of what you think the story is going to be about. Let's rip you our spellings. You have the O-I and the O-Y. Both of these make the OI sound. Let's read these words in the first two columns. Join, point, enjoy. Now you've got the OW sound. OW, O-W, and O-U. Let's read the last two columns. Frowned, how, house, south, out. Be careful when you're reading these new spellings you're going to see pop up in your story. So look for these oi and owl sounds. When you are finished reading the story, you may read it aloud to someone at home. You may read it out loud to yourself. You may read it silently in your head. But if you struggle with the word or you're not reading it fluently, so you have to stop quite a bit, you need to practice reading it a few times so a fluent reader can go through quickly and read it accurately. When you are finished, you're going to complete worksheet 9.3. So the story is the hare and the hedgehog. And then you're going to complete the comprehension questions using text evidence from the story. So use those key details. Use those things in the story. Find the answer in the story. Don't forget, you will have a, st a spelling test tomorrow on your words ending in I and G. If your word ends in one of those magic E's, remember we're dropping the E before we add the I and G. If you have a short vowel and a consonant, Remember to double the consonant when adding I and G. So practice your spelling words. The tricky word of the week is a word. Practice writing the word word.